<laughs> oh, Joey, get rid of it. What? <laughs> Welcome back, super friends and super family. I am Thor, your friendly neighborhood god of thunder. Today I'm reacting to Friends Season 3, Episodes 17 and 18. So, obviously, huge, huge events in the storyline with the last two episodes. But fundamentally, I mean, I talked about it at length in that reaction, but it looks like Ross and Rachel are going to break up because Ross cheated on her. And now, you know, I guess the ball is in Rachel's court so to speak. You know, is Rachel going to forgive Ross after more reflection and consultation with Monica and Phoebe? Or is she going to decide that she wants to either take a break or break up completely? We will see. We will see. I mean, I don't know. Those episodes, you know, were a bit more serious <laughs> than a lot of Friends episodes. So are we going to go back and kind of continue that storyline directly? Or are we going to take a break a little bit and just have some fun shenanigans? I'm not too sure. As always, if you want to watch along the full reactions with me, that's up on Patreon, along with future reactions of Friends. Thank you to everyone who supports there. For now, let's get into today's reactions. Friends, Season 3, Episodes 17 and 18. <laughs> taking Ross to the game. We are. He's meeting us here. No, Rachel is meeting us here. Oh, dang. Should have been there last night. Ross was hanging out over at our place. Rachel comes over to borrow some moisturizer from Chandler. Hey, you, you... How hard is it to say something? Rachel came well, over bad to borrow... moisturizer. Something. <laughs> You're embarrassed, Chandler. <laughs> Just started yelling at each other. He says that because they were on a break when it happened. So unreasonable. God. Although, I think I understand what he means. <laughs> like this is like when my parents got divorced yeah yeah i hope ross doesn't try to kidnap me after cub scouts <laughs> okay it's not gonna be like that i had a dream that ross and rachel were still together they never broke up we were all just like hanging out and everyone was half oh, same dream only, yeah and nobody slept only. with that xerox girl oh i had the opposite dream <laughs> well maybe it's gonna be okay i mean it's been a week it's never taken me more than a week to get over a relationship <laughs> more than a shower to get over a relationship <laughs> I mean, probably. Okay, let me just get a cup of coffee. Oh, Rachel, I know the best coffee house, and it's so close. Closer than here? <laughs> I found coffee! <laughs> okay, let's go. Coffee to go. Two seconds. Pit stop. Coffee? Okay, your highness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. The inevitable. Oh, Rachel, I'm really sorry. Um, that's okay, Ross. You want to get back together? <laughs> okay. Did anyone else hear that? <laughs> Nice try. Nice try. Like, it's gonna be that simple. No way. Okay, right now, I gotta make my bets. Is Rachel gonna take Ross back? Oh, that's tough. That's tough. I mean, I don't want her to, but will she? I think it's close. I think it's like, if I was betting in Vegas, it's like 50-50 whether she takes him back or stays broken up, but I'm gonna go with my first instinct. No, she's not taking him back. <laughs> that was me until very recently. <laughs> Is he here? No. Oh, here's your moisturizer. <laughs> your big secret is out. You use moisturizer. Thursday night. Five tickets. Elvin Klein lingerie show. And you guys are coming with me. Said that out loud, right? <laughs> what happened? Yes, it's just that we, uh, we kind of already... <clears throat> oh, they have plans. Made plans with Ross. Oh, okay. Everyone's got to pick sides in the divorce. It's not that we don't want to. Really. Uh, should we talk in models in their underwear? And heels. <laughs> Ross did ask us first, and we set that plan aside. It's only fair. Oh, I, do. I feel bad. Very bad. You're Chandler, smoking? What are you, what doing? Are you doing? Don't smoke again, bro. Actually, yesterday I was smoking again. Today I'm, I'm smoking still. <laughs> uh... Just like my parents' divorce, which is when I started smoking mm. in the first place. Did it bring all that back, maybe? Weren't you nine? <laughs> Oh, dang. Yeah? No wonder he struggles with it. I'm telling you something, that uh, first smoke after nap time. <laughs> Do you guys have plans for the weekend? could have her cabin for the weekend and go ski. Huh? I'm asking you first, right? Chandler, you're yeah. smoking? Yeah, yeah. Hey, shut up. You're not my real mom. <laughs> <laughs> that you know, traumatic flashback right there. Hey, can you close that window, Chandler? My nipples could cut glass over here. Really? Cause mine get me out of tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Been a pretty hard 
climb right now, so I just want to say thanks. Somebody else hug him. I have to stay by the window. <laughs> How about this weekend? We have a laser disc marathon. Nope. 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 Dartboard? Huh? huh? Great for next weekend. No, no, no. This weekend, guys. Be great for next weekend. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be great. <laughs> What's going on? Well, we were, uh, they made plans, bro. Invited to go skiing. You know, Rachel's sister's cabin. So, for the whole weekend? Or? Yes. She did ask us first. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, if you guys all have to go away for the first weekend, I'm alone by myself. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Don't guilt trip them, bro. You know what? I can stay. I'm gonna stay. The last time I went skiing, I was too afraid to jump off the chairlift. I just went round and round. I've never been skiing. Is it scary? It always looks fun. I'll stay. No, I'll stay. It's my brother. What, a pity stay? No. Well, yes, a pity stay from everyone. We can make fudge. Pity food? <laughs> That's okay, all right? I don't need any of you to stay, okay? Nobody stay. Then I might as well offer to stay. <laughs> Chandler offered. It's on the record. Anybody else feel bad about Ross? Do you think he's still mad at us? Probably more mad since you called him this morning to borrow his goggles. <laughs> oh, mine aren't tinted. <laughs> Chandler! Dude, are you chain smoking? What are you, Ripley from Aliens? What does the sign say? Beam me up, Jesus. <laughs> smoking sign. There's no smoking in my grandmother's cab. I have to go to the bathroom. Go when we stop for gas. I really have to go. <laughs> well, now I have to go. Oh. She's doing Chandler a solid. Okay, brace yourself. What? Oh. Okay. <laughs> they have more experience, right? <laughs> Phoebe's driving in the snow, too? Imagine how dangerous that is. No, Rachel never pees in public restrooms. There's no place like home. Rule is, no tissue, no tushy. <laughs> Make that a bumper sticker. <laughs> well, if everybody's going... What's gonna happen? What's gonna go wrong? The, the keys are in there! Oh, oh no, 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 no. my gosh. My lighter's in there! <laughs> of course, that's what he's worried about. Are they seriously not gonna go skiing? They're gonna be locked out? A anybody get a coat hanger? Well, I do. Oh, no. Took it out of my shirt when I put it on this morning. <laughs> One of you guys give me the underwire from your bra. What? <laughs> that won't work, will it? The biggest boobs has the biggest bra, therefore has the biggest wire. It's like, it's simple math. It's math, trust me. Back in the car, we need that wire. Monica's are the biggest. <laughs> oh no, mine are deceptively small. I actually sometimes stuff my bra. And then your bra would still be big. <laughs> <laughs> Outside the bra. Oh, okay. <laughs> Phoebe, Rachel, take off Monica's bra. Can I have mine? Thank you. Chandler, what are you doing? There is a trash can right there. If I littered, that crying Indian might come by and save us. What? Is that from an ad or something? Okay, now let's decide who has the nicest ass. <laughs> and there you go. Hey, it worked. Oh, yeah. It worked. Okay, everyone buy Phoebe dinner tonight. And Joey, that's impressive, man. Don't crash or something. What else is gonna go wrong? What? No. No. No gas? What? Wait, what's, it? what's going on? This has happened before. Do so you know how to fix it? No. Put more gas in. Oh my god. Oh, Phoebe. Hi, what are you Hi. doing here? When you and I split up half the last episode of MASH and half the hostages coming home. What? Kind of an anniversary. I thought you guys got married in uh, January. Different kind of anniversary. Oh. <laughs> Candles, champagne. Yeah, anniversaries are great. <laughs> oh my gosh, Ross. You know, love lasts forever. You know, nothing like it in this lifetime. Money in the bank. Rachel and I broke up. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna dump this on her on her anniversary? I want to talk to you about this so much. We do it when we can really get into it. You free for dinner tomorrow night? Oh yeah, I'd love that. <laughs> Started when Rachel got. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Take a seat, why don't you? <laughs> yeah, this is what town are we near? Free Fremont. F F West Westmont. Uh, Westburg? Oh, this is why cell phones are so useful. Oh my gosh. We are definitely on Route 27. Okay, there is no Route 27. <laughs> They're 93 or 76. I don't know. I'm sorry. Just guess at this point. Can you just um, send someone up and down 76? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. I said yes? No, they don't do that. Oh, okay. I was gonna say. Well, somebody will come and save us. Who? You've seen a car come by here in the last hour and a half? To call Ross. Maybe he can get a car to pick us up. Not getting in a car with Ross. Just have to live here. <laughs> 
guys, I'm not getting in a car with him. Oh, good. Oh, Joey and Chandler are back. What happened to them? The going for help went well. Oh, yeah. Here, got halfway to the highway and collapsed. What? I have the lung capacity of a two-year-old. Are you smoking? Well, it's very unsettling. Oh, my gosh. Can he really fall down like that from smoking? Unbelievable, you know? I mean, they just took off. Took off without even looking back. He ate all the... No, I don't, I don't need them. <laughs> you and Susan. Ah, uh, oh, Susan yes. will be so pleased. Yes, I cannot wait till Susan shows up. <laughs> so you have more of these for Susan, right? Uh, no. no. I just put out pickles or something. <laughs> Phoebs? Why, why are you whispering? I ate a bug. <laughs> <laughs> With Phoebe, I would believe that. And we don't know where we are, so we can't get a tow truck. Now you want a favor. I'm sorry your car broke down. I'm a little too busy with some of my real friends right oh now. Oh my gosh, don't give me that. Phoebe, hang on a second. Here, take my car, go pick up your friends. Hasn't he been drinking? Both know you're gonna do it because you're not a jerk. Sulk here for half an hour and then go pick them up. Give us both time and sulk in the car. Yes, sulk in the car. That's a good motto. Don't punish your friends for what Rachel did to you. Yeah, you're right. That's a pretty good way to convince him too. What? You slept with someone else? Oh, dang. Oh, dang. On a break. <laughs> <laughs> I love how she switched sides just like that. <laughs> you slept with another woman. Oh, you're, you're one to talk? <laughs> I mean, true, right? She's all indignant. You were cheating on Ross. Come on. Don't even give me that. What's play? That's help fell backwards so that the helicopter. Huh. Oh, yes. What's doofus fell backwards? <laughs> is saving your butt mosey on. I've got plenty of people to help on the interstate. Oh, hey, you help. Oh. Oh. You ruined the sign. Now it's not gonna make any sense. <laughs> what do we do about Ross? He drove all the way up here. Send him back and then we're gonna go skiing. I think we should ask Ross to come along. You can't, you can't. Ask me what? It might be okay if Ross came skiing. I was not with no, yeah, that. <laughs> Monica could take the heat. Can't I come to your special magical cabin? Why would you want to be I there? I want to come to yes, yes. Oh, oh. I, I can't handle this. Handles my middle name. Actually, it's the middle part of my first name. <laughs> <laughs> the cab's ready. All right, let's go. You're welcome. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you speaking to me or sleeping with someone else? <laughs> We're on a break. Oh, you know, Ross, put that on your answering machine. Monica agrees with me. What? Really? Really? I don't know. <laughs> Understood. Joey is the one who agreed with you. Really, Joey? I mean, they also advised him not to tell you anything. How are you surprised by that, Rachel? No, I think it's very obvious who's wrong here. Obviously not to Joey. I mean, come on, don't get the kids involved, you guys. Let's... Same you know, that I this, like, this no, 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 the Guardian's tactic is working? No, it's not working. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, pure chaos. You're doing a Chandler! <laughs> you have to figure out a way to be around each other. And not put us in the middle. Yeah, otherwise, I mean, that that's just, that's it. Otherwise, the show is canceled. Goodbye to all those paychecks. Can you be civil? Yeah. I can. Back in the car, because it's freezing, and my chest is unsupported. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it, so you guys should just go. And you drove no, all the no, way no, up here. No, no, really. Just go. No guilt, I promise. Okay. All right. Oh, you can make it back. Okay. Maybe a movie or something. Okay. Or, or the rodeo. <laughs> or the rodeo. That's always an option. I was being Shelly Winters from the Poseidon Adventure. <laughs> oh, thanks for explaining, but I don't even know what that I know. is. <laughs> Play the sad music. Play the sad music. Oh no. Oh no, are you serious? Oh wow. That's rough, Ross. That's rough. Ross! Hi, sorry I'm late. Were you sleeping? Uh, no. Oh, great. I had to get to a whole new battery. Came to about $112. What the hell? Call it an even 110? <laughs> Pay tomorrow, Ross. Okay. okay, bye. Will they, uh,.
They all took off. It was pretty hard watching them go. <laughs> Get a therapist. <laughs> oh, he needs someone so to I'm talk to so badly. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what? What's so funny? What's so funny? Nothing. No, it's an acting exercise. I'm practicing my fake laugh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what? What's so funny? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. No, 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 no. None of that in here. Yeah, come on, dude. Come on, man. At least let me finish this last one. No. D no. But only if you give me a drag. <laughs> oh. Well. <sighs> he needed that. He needed that. Oh, dark mother. Once again, I suckle at your smoky teeth. <laughs> okay. No, no. Why don't you hold on to that one? <laughs> I would do the same. I'm really sick of your smoking, so I brought something that is going to help you quit. What? Gum? Nicotine gum? <laughs> what is it? That patch is no good. <laughs> <laughs> no cis tape. This is for two weeks straight, and she hasn't smoked. Does that since. actually work? What's your problem? Hypnosis is beyond crap. I've heard it's true. Watched you get hypnotized in Atlantic City. This guy did not hypnotize me. Right, because you always pull your pants down on the count of three and play wipe out on your butt cheeks. <laughs> That sounds like it worked. Way to quit smoking is you have to dance naked and then bathe in the sweat of six healthy young men. Well, that is the most unique method I've ever heard. Or what my father calls Thursday night. <laughs> <laughs> what is the best way to quit smoking? I never read the book, but there's one, I think it's called An Easy Way to Stop Smoking. I've heard it's really good. Oh, you know what? I didn't want cinnamon on this. Sorry? <laughs> what? <laughs> I wish. Imagine if a waiter did that or something. <laughs> oh, heck, heck. So I lost your phone number, and then uh, my mom locked me out of the house. What happened between you and your mom? Well, we got in a fight. She said that I was too immature to get married. You're getting married? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's big news. Hey, congrats, dude. <laughs> Look how happy Phoebe is. I love oh, it. All right. Uh, hey, do you want to meet her? Do yes. I? Do you? <laughs> Just uh, park in the truck. My fiance, man. <laughs> I can't wait to meet this character. I would have bet good money that he'd be the first one of us to get married. <laughs> would you? Isn't he fantastic? But Phoebe, don't you think he's a little young to get married? Well, he's 18. It'll be illegal for him to drink at his own bachelor. <laughs> this is uh, my fiance, Mrs. Knight. Really? <laughs> You know, it's, it's funny, um, Frank's told me so much about you, but you're not how I pictured you at all. Uh, right back at you. I'm a big surprise. <laughs> <laughs> how did you guys meet? I was in, uh, Mrs. Knight. I mean, Alice. Sorry, Alice. She was your teacher? I was in her, uh, home ec class. And he was my best student. Yeah, she was my best teacher. <laughs> okay. Okay. If that doesn't keep kids in school, what will? <laughs> guys are gonna be married uh, yeah I talked about just living together we want to have kids right away <laughs> oh <laughs> oh my god <laughs> great <laughs> wow kids are you sure you're ready for that I mean, how hard can it be you know? uh, babies you know who doesn't want babies right? uh, okay never had a dad around now i always will because uh, you know it'll be me yeah. <laughs> he seems so sincere and sweet we do realize that there's an age difference oh good okay because you were acting like you didn't <laughs> comes to love what does age matter <laughs> <laughs> imagine seeing this in public you are now completely asleep you don't need to smoke cigarettes Is this don't how... control you Smoking hypnosis works because I don't think this would work. Woman who does not need to smoke. <laughs> a strong, confident woman. In the last year, I've only gone out with two guys. Work and fashion, and all I meet are eligible straight men. <laughs> he can get you something else. Slice of cheesecake and a, and a date if you're giving them out. Is that John Favreau? Come on, you just said to her oh, that you. I need my blonde wig and the big boobs. And I serve you food. If that were true, I'd be dating my aunt Ruth. <laughs> The two times we went out, it was just plain awkward. <laughs> I can't believe John Favreau's in the show. Was he famous at this point? I mean, I know he'd been in a few movies. I mean, that ain't a pretty picture in the morning, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Boobs flung over the nightstand. Oh. I don't want to be all judgmental, you know, but this is sick. It's sick and wrong. <laughs> 
Is it the age thing? Fine with the age thing. He'll start sticking its tongue down my little brother's throat. <laughs> And it's not it's not fair to the baby. Have you told him how you feel? Yes, not out loud <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell him soon he's gonna be married if I do tell him then he's gonna hate myself He might I don't know I can't you guys can please you got to talk him out of it. I know no, no, no. <laughs> I have nothing to lose I have everything to lose everything everything I mean, she makes a good point, but how could they convince him? He barely knows them. Okay, I'm gonna go get Frank. Walking down the street, and I turn to you, and I say, hang out at Totally Nude Nude. You say, nah, let's just hang out at your place. Well, that was a nice move, dumbass. <laughs> Definitely go out with this guy. It doesn't do anything for me. Monica. He directed Iron Man. What happened on Walker, Texas Range? Walker was looking for this big busload of kids. All right, I get your point. <laughs> Tape's working out for you. Yeah. Good. I haven't smoked yet today. I feel great. Good. And confident. That is a stunning blouse. <laughs> <laughs> Worked a little too well. Worked a little too well. Let's give Pete a chance. And that check thing was adorable. You guys a crush on me. Gave me a $20,000 tip. Pete Becker. Pete. What, is that real? Is he super wealthy? He did direct Iron Man then. Wow, wow. <gasps> That's Bill Clinton. <laughs> Who's he hugging? That's Pete. Every office in the world uses that program. It. There you go. What is he doing eating at a place like Monica's? I'm not gonna go out with him. I believe this is a real $20,000 check. Oh, this is just so exciting. Or incredibly offensive. Well, yeah, sure, that too. <laughs> <laughs> what? Don't rush into anything. You're 18. She's 44. When you're 36, she's gonna be 88. <laughs> There's a lot of women out there you haven't even had sex with yet. He's right. This is your time. You're weird. Chicks dig that. <laughs> Do they? Isn't sex better when it's with one person that you really, really care about? Yeah, in a poem, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I had with Rachel. You don't have it anymore? No, I, uh, I slept with someone else. All right, so how did that make things better? It didn't. <laughs> to have with Rachel is what I got with Alice. What is that like? It's so cool, man. Being with her is so much better than, like, not being with uh, her. Yeah. <laughs> he, he won Ross over. And I blew it. Well, I won it. <laughs> Maybe there's something wrong with no. me. No, no, it's out there, man. I've seen it. I got it. <laughs> you hold on to it. Congratulations. Oh. You <laughs> You're Frank's best man? <laughs> Things changed. You had to be there. Love is so pure. What I'm the ring bearer. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is too much. This is too much, Chandler. Because <laughs> oh. I've got a real um, home ec emergency. First, we'll start with a little club soda. Forget it, it's ruined. Oh, no, no, never say that. If you a little lace, you make a stylish throw. <laughs> Dad, maybe you could just not marry my brother, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Monica Geller here. What the hell is this? Yeah, I'll talk to you in the morning. You got it. Pre Zoom calls? What is this supposed to mean? I never know how much to tip. It's supposed to double the tax, not double the tax of Romania. <laughs> Are you trying to buy me? Is this the way you get girls to go out with you? Um, I'm still here. <laughs> You can't end it on your end? We won't be having this argument, and there won't be this uh, heat between us. Our relationship is uh, is hitting a new level now. But now we're like this this couple that fights. You're alone. <laughs> Forget the check, okay? I like you. I think you're great. Come on, what do you say? I don't know. Why not? Because I don't want to encourage this kind of behavior. One meal. That's all I'm asking for, please. And if you don't have a good time, I'll give you 10 grand. We call it even. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, who would say no to those dating terms? <laughs> uh, no! no, no, no. <laughs> no down. It's, it's me. Okay, it's like all in the dark. Oh, well, um, you're, you're buried in clothes. But I thought I'd curl up in it. <laughs> How was your day? Probably the worst one since I've been alive. Dang. What happened? Alice uh, called it off. Oh, no. Did she say why? No. No, not really. Just that I was too young. I'm older than I was when we first got together. How old was he? Was he a kid when they first got together? You know what? Maybe it's just all for the best. The best is like unbelievable pain. Aww. 
No, you know, I was just finally happy, you know? That's so sad. My life after my dad left me and then getting arrested. What is he doing? And then the whole punctured lung thing. Still really hard to take deep breaths with Alice. All that stuff kind of went away. Now it's gone and I don't know why. I can tell you why. It's, it's because of me. Really? She's coming clean? You know what? I only did it because I love you, okay? <laughs> I hope he isn't angry at her. It made her see why you two shouldn't be together. Brother didn't want us to be together, but the worst thing she ever did was tie me to the porch. <laughs> came to you because I thought you'd understand. Oh, no! Dang. I would storm out of here right now if I had some money or a place to go. <laughs> The millionaire's here! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, please, I'm just gonna have dinner with him. Okay? Buys you dinner does not mean you owe him anything. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay, then get the lobster. <laughs> Hi! Hey! Hey! How much cash you got in your pocket right now? <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't ask that question to a millionaire. Yeah, you like pizza? Oh, that sounds great. I know, a great little place. Oh, for real? What, on his private jet? You're not paying for the pizza. Come on, it's only fair. We paid for the flight. Yeah. Is, is that enough, Lyra? Well, how much is that? About 60 cents. <laughs> Maybe let him pay for everything. <laughs> That's gotta hurt. Every night. <laughs> oh, Joey, get rid of it. Cigarettes don't control confident woman. Does, who does not need to smoke. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. I know that you think I did a totally evil thing, but I so didn't. Phoebe's right, Frank. We want the same things right now in the future. Is that it? Is that what it is? Yes. Oh my gosh. Right, not just that. We love each other as much as we do. Nonetheless. 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 <laughs> Not coaching at all, not at all. You're too young to to really know what you want. That's mm. right, exactly. <laughs> Phoebe, your plan majorly backfired. That's a goodbye kiss, that's good. Oh yeah, yeah, that is not a goodbye anything. <laughs> the important thing is, is that you see what I'm saying, you know, just... <laughs> it's clearly wrong. <laughs> Okay, I've decided I'm gonna let this happen. Can I just get my purse? So can, okay, all right. Confident woman. Joey's your best friend. I'm gonna make him a cheese sandwich every day. I'm gonna buy him hundreds of dollars worth of pants. <laughs> Dang, I woke him up. That could have worked. All right, so that is Friends, Season 3, Episodes 17 and 18. Well, they answered my question. In Episode 17, Ross and Rachel are broken up, um, which I think is probably just best for them at this point. You know what I mean? But <laughs> it's tough. It's tough for the Friends. I like how they didn't just gloss over it and immediately just have uh, Ross and Rachel together and everything's okay and the Friends are getting along. I'm glad that they spent one episode at least where, you know, there was that awkwardness and obviously Ross and Rachel didn't want to be together and, you know, Chandler, Joey, and Monica are essential, and Phoebe are essentially like all the kids in a divorce, right? And I, I guess it just makes me wonder, have you ever, has anyone ever been in a situation, and I'm sure because it's pretty common, where you are friends with two people who are dating and then they break up and is there ever that pressure to kind of choose a side? You know, I feel like that happens a lot of the time. But, you know, generally, as hard as it is not to do, I think that it is something that should be sorted out between Ross and Rachel. You know, like the couple who are having their problems, they sort it out. It's kind of, I don't know, I feel like it's a predicament. It would be tough um, as a friend, you know, if you're like on the outside and you had no involvement in two people who you both, you know, care about and spend time with all the time, like the friends on this show, if they break up and have a bad breakup like that, then how do you manage things? So I just appreciate that we had an episode that kind of addressed that and dealt with that as a problem that everyone was dealing with and then kind of reached a resolution so that we can continue on with the show without having to have like separate rooms like the birthday 
uh, that great birthday episode, but for every episode, because that would just be hard to kind of carry on with the show. But they addressed it. They figured out they need to both learn to be in each other's presence. And then they even continued over into episode 18, which I liked. You know, even though they are letting themselves both be together and hang out with their friends at the same time, things are not smooth whatsoever between Ross and Rachel. And I just, I appreciate that because that's realistic and that's, you know, we don't want to just forget a dramatic event that happens in the show, even though it's all, you know, fundamentally for laughs and silly. But I, I think my favorite aspect of that was just Ross, you know, needing to unload his problems on someone and going to his ex-wife and just not catching any hits, sitting down, eating food, and just bearing his soul and letting her, you know, hear all his woes and troubles. And I like how she was kind of like empathizing and feeling bad for him. And the second she found, finds out that he cheated, you know, she completely flips, of course, and sides with Rachel. I thought that was very amusing. And then episode 18, heck, we got John Favreau, which what a great cameo. I am curious, like how famous he was at the time of Friends, because obviously pre Iron Man, I mean, that's kind of my first introduction. I've since seen uh, there's a famous movie where he goes to vegas i forget the name of it but i thought that was a fun kind of interesting movie but what else had he been in up until that point so like is he like is he a celebrity cameo or is he just someone who's more famous now who happened to be in an episode of friends you know what i mean because i'm tempted to think that he and monica are not going to have anything serious because I don't think normally like a celebrity guest appearance is going to continue for that many episodes. But you never know. I mean, maybe he will be in, you know, maybe even if he was famous, maybe he enjoyed the show and wanted to be in it for several episodes. Or maybe he wasn't even that famous. I honestly don't know the answer to that question. But heck, just the idea, you know, Monica dating this possibly super famous rich guy. I mean, if he's a cool dude... You know, that could be great for Monica's life, no? You know what I mean? Like, he see, at least what we saw of him so far, maybe I'm just biased because it's John Favreau, but he seemed like a cool dude to me. And the fact that he's extremely wealthy and it's like, oh, yeah, let's go grab some pizza. Let's fly to Italy and get the best pizza. I mean, that's not a bad thing. But I actually like Monica, you know? Like, I like how all her friends are super, super excited and almost starstruck by, like, meeting someone who's that, you know, kind of well-known but mainly rich. But Monica doesn't seem like that's that huge of a deal for her. And I think that really speaks to her character and how... I really think that Monica has a clear understanding of what she's looking for in a relationship and she is determined not to settle for less than that. And I think that's a really cool trait in a character and something that I just appreciate has kind of been consistent with her even up until this point in the show. And then we had Phoebe's brother come back and I like that because, uh, you know, he's, he's an interesting character and I just, I like how much Phoebe, you know, tries to look after him and is sweet with him. But of course, you know, he's getting married to his is she still teaching at that school? And how young was he when they first were getting together? I don't know. Do I want to know the answers to that question? I don't know. But, you know, clearly putting Phoebe in kind of a difficult situation where she wants to say something to help advise, you know, or just be honest with her brother and tell him how she feels and her thoughts. But it doesn't work out so great. It doesn't work out. Uh, that great. I mean, I I like how Ross and uh, Joey, you know, in trying to convince this 18-year-old kid to do something, <laughs> end up getting convinced to agree with him and show up at his wedding. I mean, <laughs> Ross is the excuse that he's just sulking and moping around because, uh, you know, he's sad about the Rachel situation. But Joey, what are you doing, man? <laughs> I guess that's, I guess, of course, of course, Joey would. But I had a good time with both of those episodes. You know, I still am sad about what happened with Ross and Rachel, but you know, that's the direction the show took. It is something surprising for this season that I did not expect. And uh, we'll, we'll see what happens here. Now, now I guess it's a bit more up in the air, you know, now that they're separated, you know, a lot of options, almost every path is open for their characters, at least romantically, and even their future. I just feel like it's less certain now that something that big, that drastic of a change has happened between the two of them. But thank you guys for watching. As always, the full reactions are on Patreon along with future uh, reactions if you care to sign up and support there. Thank you for watching, and as always, remember, be active, be mindful, and be a hero.